Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is July 27th, 2024, and it's the seventh day of my water fast journey. Today I feel great. I'm probably looking great. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm looking in the camera lens right now. I'm hoping that you're able to evaluate how I look and, and tell if I look any different. Perhaps you can see that I've been receiving a myriad of gains, including health and spiritual. The question is, well, how long can I do this? I'm not really sure um, how long I can do this. However, I'm sure that I can do this as long as I can do it. In other words, as long as I keep steady, focused, and um, don't really worry about, you know, the the constant stress of trying to find some kind of convenience comforts, then I can do this as long as I can do this. As long as I have nourishment on my body, which thankfully I did because I had stored up and amassed an amount of extra calories on my person. And um, so as long as, I got, as long as I got that to go on, I know that I have enough. Water has been an integral part of this. I've heard of some people who do this without water. Um, I wouldn't even recommend doing this with or without water unless you've already prepared to do something like this. Mentally, most people can't do this. It's too stressful. It'd be like hearing someone say something and then wanting to comment right away and say, uh, this person talks too slow, stay hydrated or something like that. There, there are things that we want to do, urges, and some we can act on and some we can't. And, uh, and in a lot of cases of people who have duality that's been not integrated, in other words, a shadow self or a dark side of their, their persona that's not been integrated with their true self, sometimes you can ask these people a question and it will, the answer will vary whether they are talking one-on-one -on -one with you or if they're talking in a group. There's an aspect of truth and testing for the spirit of truth. The spirit of truth will enlighten, brighten, and bring to light all that there is. And the spirit of confusion will say, uh, you don't make sense. You know, they'll, they'll, say, they'll say it in typing, you don't make sense. Um, when clearly you do make sense, but only if someone cares to read what you're saying, hear what you're saying. Uh, in other words, if they're able to communicate, the spirit of the spirit of confusion has difficulties communicating. It can't answer the question, stay on topic, and remain positive all at the same time. There are things that need to be controlled. And I recognize a lot of those traits in myself. And so I can recognize those traits being expressed by others. So as I'm going through this fasting journey, hoping for the well-being of others, I'm also focusing on regaining my health. And for that reason, I have isolated myself considerably, except for when I have to, you know, come and, and tend to certain business, which is still not resolved the eBay fiasco. And that all started for, for, for what reason? Because of some smartwatch issue. None of these devices that we have are saving or adding value to our health. They, they can allow us to do things like collect a lot of data, but the actions, the impetus of all of that change is on us doing something. So here I am doing the best I can to communicate with you, with you, I'm trying to communicate with you, the viewer. And in some cases I've sent letters, I've sent postcards, I've sent all kinds of things to different people. And I haven't really received a response from everybody. The majority of the responses I get have been discouraging, have been um, almost where I used to work, the, one of the last projects I worked on was called Negative News. It's almost like just negative news. So on this channel, you see me talk a lot about nature struggling. 
and nature having difficulties because there's a lack of food and you see a lot of trash, you know, on the trails and stuff like that. It's kind of, it's news. That's not negative news. That's true news. Negative news is when you basically make stuff up and you pretend that you can't understand one another. True news is when you tell someone something that's true. If someone walks out of a stall and they've got toilet paper on their shoe, that's true news. It's not negative. It might be negative if I don't tell you and let you go around embarrassing yourself for the whole rest of the day. But, you know, that's just an opinion possibly. In the, in the meanwhile, there is truth and there is confusion. And if you can't understand what I'm saying, and um, even though I'm speaking it pretty clearly, then maybe you have the spirit of confusion. Maybe you have a great dislike for someone who would go through an extended water fast. And maybe that's only the case because the only other times you've heard of someone going through extended water fasts are for A, medical reasons. B, maybe they're just not hungry. They're giving up, giving up the ghost. And C, maybe you've heard a little bit about the Holy Ghost. Not sure, but until next time, as you can see, this is about time to cut short the video. Peace love and all that old school stuff.